For as little as $1 per month, you can support independent journalism by supporting Mia Media on Patreon. That's mere pocket change to support quality local content creation. To subscribe, visit patreon.com slash M-I-E-U-M media. Thank you to all paid subscribers for helping to grow Mia Media and for supporting independent journalism. Many people regard Donald Trump as an especially unorthodox president, who has no qualms about ignoring the norms of the office. And one of many traditions he has eschewed since his inauguration is the release of a presidential reading list. You see, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama all periodically shared what books they had read and wished to recommend. But while this bipartisan ritual may end with the Trump administration, to me it inspired a different question. What books are other elected officials reading? To answer that, Mia Media contacted over 200 offices of officials elected to represent people in Connecticut. Here's what we discovered. Starting in January, we reached out to the offices of every member of the Connecticut House of Representatives, the Connecticut Senate, Connecticut's constitutional officers, Connecticut's five congresspeople in the U.S. House of Representatives, Connecticut's two senators, as well as the President of the United States. Not everyone replied to our inquiries, but excluding candidates who won in special elections, we reached out to every office on at least four separate instances. But of the responses we did receive, here are some of the interesting tidbits. The most popular book amongst elected officials by far was Michelle Obama's Becoming. This is not terribly surprising, given that Ms. Obama is the popular wife of a Democratic president and Connecticut is an overwhelmingly blue state. Jillian Gilchrist, state representative from West Hartford, was listening to Becoming in audiobook format. She was the only respondent to report listening to audiobooks, although others may be doing so as well. State Representative Juan Candelera, a Democrat who represents New Haven, crossed party lines with his choice of reading George Washington's Secret Six by conservative Fox News host Brian Kilmeade. Senator Norm Needleman, who represents Chester, Clinton, Colchester, Deep River, East Haddam, East Hampton, Essex, Haddam, Lyme, Old Saybrook, Portland, and Westbrook, replied that he was reading Brief Answers to Big Questions by the late Stephen Hawking. State Representative Kevin Ryan, who serves Basra, Montville, and Norwich, said that he is currently reading a college physics textbook. This makes sense. Representative Ryan is also a professor of physics at the University of New Haven, and he has a median approval rating of 4.25 out of 5 on RateMyProfessors.com. When the Connecticut delegation in Washington isn't in session, here's what they spend their time reading. Representative Joe Courtney of Connecticut's 2nd Congressional District sent over his reading list as well, which included a biography of Tiger Woods by Jeff Benedict and Armand Ketian. It must have been interesting for Representative Courtney to watch Tiger Woods win the 2019 Masters after reading the book. Elected officials were not just reading newer titles. State Senator John Kissel, who represents Enfield, Suffield, Windsor Locks, East Granby, Summers, Granby, and Windsor, was reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck and State Senator Martin Looney of New Haven, North Haven, and Hamden was reading Notes of a Native Son by James Baldwin. Given that it's a busy time of year, not everyone has the time to read for pleasure. These elected officials told me in media that they were too busy assessing bills or reviewing the budget to be caught reading anything else. Governor Ned Lamont told me in media that he's currently reading 1776 by David McAuliffe a history of events leading up to the United States Revolution. Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz also said that she was reading about history, one book about the Vietnam War, and one about Eleanor Roosevelt. She noted that she is also reading The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo, whose Netflix series made her into a household name. The other constitutional officers in Connecticut are active readers as well. Unfortunately, I had to reach out to Connecticut State House of Representatives District 130, located in Bridgeport, twice. State Representative Ezekiel Santiago, who said that he was too busy reading Governor Ned Lamont's budget, died on March 15. State Representative Antonio Felipe, who won a special election to fill the seat, told me in media that he is currently reading the classic 1984 by George Orwell. My personal favorite response was from State Senator Bob Duff, 
who represents Norwalk and Darien. He said that he was reading two fairly serious histories of politics in Washington, D.C., as well as the heartwarming true story of Ugi, the dog only a family could love. In total, we heard back from many elected officials, both Democrats and Republicans, and received replies about 118 books. And if you're curious what books those who represent you are reading, we've included a spreadsheet of all of the replies in the description below.